Hi, welcome back to another video on Love is Blind season six. This time I'll be analyzing the couple Kenneth and Brittany and try to explain the plot twist to their relationship. So first of all, spoiler alert, I am currently up to episode 8. Also, I understand that it's an edited show, I'm only analyzing the characters portrayed. So Kenneth and Brittany started out promising. I'm happy to hear your voice. I'm happy to hear your voice. They bonded deeply over their shared life experiences, like losing a parent at a young age, forced to grow up quickly. When I was 12 years old, my biological mom passed away from cancer. My father passed away when I was five years old. Having to go through things that mature you quickly mm -hmm. sets you apart from other people. Yep. They are also both teachers and share that profession. Brittany used to be a teacher. Um, I'm currently a principal. They also share a lot of values being both Christian and quite conservative. She also loves God. Are you the... Wait till I'm officially married. I came into this with wait until mm -hmm. marriage. Yeah. Wow, I love that. They both believe in traditional gender roles. I can literally cannot wait for the day that my child comes and asks me a question and I'm like, Go ask your dad. Did you did you talk to your daddy about it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that is my dream. <laughs> and I find that personality types with sensing S hero, the top function, and intuition N inferior, the lowest function, they tend to interpret multiple coincidences as destiny. For example, how both their moms are twins. My mom and my aunt are twins. <gasps> my mom was a twin. She had a twin sister named Karen. She got in a car accident and she passed away. Finally, my mom ended up having me on her and her twin sister's birthday the next year. What? That whole story just speaks to the power of God. It allowed me to find you. Amen. I feel that this couple fell for each other in the pods because everything about each other is so good on paper. Everything that I said, my fiance must have, Brittany has. Our minds and our heads are like right there with one another. Mm -hmm. Like what we want out of a marriage is mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And without being able to physically see each other, they were able to layer on the physical chemistry with their imagination. You sound like, what? Um, like stout, not short stout, like stocky and stout, mm -hmm. but like at a good height. However, what I've observed with sensing as heroes is that the physical, the sensory aspects of a relationship is always going to be a major factor because the physical tends to be one of their main love languages. So I'm not even talking necessarily about them being physically shallow. And they use the physical as a barometer, their best barometer to gauge how a relationship is going. I am very affectionate, mm -hmm. very, very affectionate. We barely kiss mm -hmm. and like haven't made out. Mm -hmm. And for some reason that just seems really awkward to me. Mm -hmm. So I do find it strange that in the second half of their plot line, Kenneth is not that physical with Brittany being sensing hero himself. It tells me that either he's no longer that into her or that he's self-conscious about being filmed being physical, wanting to uphold his squeaky clean Christian worship leader school principal image. And a huge part of social media have speculated that Kenneth was actually never into Brittany in the first place based on how cold and inattentive he was towards the end and also how he acted at the reveal. This is crazy. This. Hey baby! How are you, my love? <laughs> claiming that you know, he just let him on, dragged things out to be on the show, or even that he's a closeted gay and went on the show to please his family. From my perspective, when I rewatched their reveal, I did feel that Kenneth seemed genuinely pleased to see her. <laughs> I got the prize. She's my person. She's my person. I did feel the excitement and gratitude. Like, look at this. 
Thank you, Lord. <laughs> what did I do to deserve? What did I what do, did to, I do deserve? to deserve this, literally? But that's just my impression. Only Kenneth knows the truth. What I would say is off about Kenneth is that after the honeymoon, he suddenly withdrew all the attentiveness and affection that he did show earlier. Uh, you're not about to be sitting on the, on the sand. I cannot yeah. oh, with oh, it. Oh, we love you. We love you. <laughs> and he switches to no effort, no Fs given. Don't look at your phone too much. Do you have a preference on left or right? This later behavior is not consistent with how his personality type shows up when they're in love. The tricky thing is, with Kenneth's personality type, it's very difficult to read what they're feeling in the first place. Because, you know, I'm ecstatic, but how are you? At baseline, their normal selves, they can be quite shy and introverted and outwardly expressionless. Morning! <laughs> Going back to the city, I'm excited. It's completely normal for his type to present very quiet and introverted. To the point that I find they actually prefer to be around people who are comfortable leading, even dominating a conversation. And this personality type presents this way because of their dominant cognitive functions. So first, they have SI introverted sensing, which is a receiver of experiences, not an initiator. And they also have FE extroverted feeling, in particular in the second position called the parent, which makes them feel obligated to let other people express themselves first, and they won't prioritize expressing oneself. So. For me, it's hard to tell whether his dead energy is because he's checked out when it comes to Brittany or he's just reverting back to his baseline self because he's got the girl now. As for his phone or device addiction... <sighs> miss this so much. I miss my device. That's not related to personality type. Anyone could be addicted. However, what might explain why he completely ignores Brittany is this. SI introverted sensing is a zoomed in view of reality versus the opposite function SC extroverted sensing, which is more wide angle. So SI chooses what it focuses their attention on. So these types can be unaware of how they're presenting to other people if their focus is elsewhere. They're also unaware of the bad experience that they are giving another person when they're no longer in tune or responsive to their surroundings and the people in it. I think a big factor to explain why Kenneth lost interest in Brittany is that he started prioritizing more the judgment of his people, meaning his black community. In the pods and the honeymoon stage, he had no distractions and he was able to focus solely on Brittany. What ethnicity is your family? Black. I'm assuming yours is white, yeah? Yeah. Are you comfortable around? Yes. People are judgmental and it's not going to be shocking. You just correct their thoughts mm -hmm. and move on. Absolutely. However, his reality started to sink in after his chat with AD. Do you typically like date white girls? Don't. She's the first. So my challenge right now is less around like how similar our day to day lives are. More around though, like how do we tackle the fact that when we get back, people are gonna be like, "Yo, Ken, life is gonna life." I'm very much pro black, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I don't lose sight. I don't lose right. sight of like what we have had to yep. overcome. Yep, yep. It's definitely. It's making me think. Maybe he was on his phone a lot, appeasing all his family and friends, and their concerns started to turn him off gradually. The questions that AD was asking me was very, it gave me very much like true concern. You know, we're gonna face like mm -hmm. people's opinions. Like my female best friend mm -hmm. is probably gonna be very like kin, like let's talk. My people, they love me hard, you know? Right. And so 
Kenneth has dominant FE extroverted feeling function. FE needs to make reference to feelings and values outside of themselves externally in order to find out how they themselves feel. And the higher up the FE, the more people's feelings and values they could hold and respond to. So Kenneth's FE would be spread out quite thinly between Brittany, his friends, and his family. He's also never dated outside of his race versus Brittany, who has dated black men before. She's going to be the first white girl I've ever dated in my life. So perhaps there were certain things about dating a white woman that he didn't anticipate and it may have started to give him the ick. SI introverted sensing dominant types often enjoy a moment of novelty in new experiences, but in the end, their tendency is to feel more comfortable with what they've always experienced, what is familiar to them. You know, I've always dated black women. This will be the first time I've ever dated and married outside of my race. Hi, just a quick interlude to say that if you're enjoying my content, then please remember to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. As for Brittany, there are reasons why she would gradually lose the crave for Kenneth as well. Even with the promise that we made, I would have still enjoyed that temptation of being like, no, like, oh my God, like I can't, like, holy cow the desire is almost mm -hmm. like eating at me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that's where I'm like, what's, what's the missing piece? Brittany has expressed that although she herself seems very together and very alpha, her actual desire is to be submissive and have the man be the leader, the more dominant one. The outside world would see me as an alpha male who yeah. calls the shots, makes the decisions, yeah. but I'm actually the one that wants to be led. Mm -hmm. I'm the one that like wants to be submissive. This could be explained by her quite old-fashioned values about gender roles and her Christian background, but it could also be explained by her personality type. An aspect of the sensing S functions is about whether you prefer to give or receive an experience. SI is the one that expects an experience. They know what they want to experience and they prefer that someone else is the one to initiate and provide that experience for them. That being SE, extroverted sensing. Oh my God, <laughs> not the painting. Oh my God, and I'm so excited for this salad right now because the girl is hungry. Yeah. <laughs> you did not. <laughs> I did. So I do think that what Brittany desires in a man is someone with SE, extroverted sensing. And but also too, like I am the type of one. I'm like, baby, you can grab me. Yeah, touch me, touch me. Yeah, like touch me grab me. Yeah. And with Kenneth, they are both SI and SI hero. So actually, they're both looking for someone else to be the dominant one, the initiator. This may explain why she gradually feels less turned on by Kenneth. Firstly, he's not SE. Secondly, he makes no effort to take turns to be SE with her. Tonight could be like a, a chicken night. Do you size. want me to cook tonight or we want to get food tonight? It's the first night in the crib. You gotta cook. You gotta... Oh, so you're gonna make me cook. And then flipping back to Kenneth's perspective, Brittany picks on the moments when he's not giving her an experience. Like this morning when we woke up and I'm like super excited and I like smile at you and I'm like, good morning, baby. Mm -hmm. And you rolled over and you're like, hey. Mm -hmm. And I was like, and Kenneth gets annoyed that Brittany doesn't seem to appreciate or acknowledge the moments when he does initiate. There are times where I am trying to be affectionate to you and you may feel like you don't want it at the moment. Normally, like when I kiss you, it's like a kiss and you just go back. Mm -hmm. He also feels that she expects experiences all the time. When I have these moments that are not like the big personality or just like the really just overly like, mm -hmm what is going to be the grace that I'm given because you're not going to always show up when how like speeches and good morning like that's not always going to be you no. so do I get a chance do, am I supposed to just be like another possible clash between SI and SI happens when they remember the same situation differently SI introverted sensing is a subjective account of events. I choose what I focus on and I know my own experience of that event in great detail as a result, 
SI types are super confident and stubborn in their account of what happened. No one can tell me what my experience was. Like, I feel like that desire and crave between you and I is like the missing piece. For you. Because everything else is aligned. For you. Because for me, that isn't, that's not true for me. So two SIs will clash if their accounts of the same thing do not align. Both would be stubborn at believing their own account of the event without realizing that they may be just looking at the same thing from different angles. I'm always such a hard not to. I think, I think that you do a very good job of like remaining, like, I don't, I don't think that you- You don't think me, overwhelmed? Like, no, no. Like sometimes I'm like, you can touch me more. Like I really be thinking I'll be smothering you. You don't smother and me. And that's crazy. You, like, do you, not, like... you do not smother me at all. So knowing that both Kenneth and Brittany are SI dominant, it made it more difficult for me to assess the truth of the matter because I know that both of their accounts of events can be somewhat subjective. On the one hand, I can believe that Kenneth was being blame shifting, only blaming Brittany for all their problems and being very defensive about any criticism that goes his way. But at the same time, I also find it believable that Brittany just got a really good edit and that we didn't get to see the situations where Kenneth was making an effort with her and she brushed him off. And maybe Brittany is selectively only remembering his weaker moments. What I do feel is closer to the truth is that probably both of them had some part to play towards why they didn't work out. Out. And so I find it funny that Kenneth schools Brittany on this being introspective when he is not being introspective himself. So when we talk about like why are certain things not progressing, mm -hmm. we got to also be introspective about the parts that we are playing too in that role. And right now I do, being transparent, I don't feel as if you are being introspective about the role that you have played for me as a man in regards to that level of intimacy. A major difference I spot between Kenneth and Brittany is that one thinks that the lack of physical desire is fixable and the other one doesn't think so. Thinking dominant types like Brittany are goal oriented and solutions driven. Feelings are secondary. So Brittany may think that the lack of sexual desire can be fixed. For example, by demoing to Kenneth what she wants him to do. I am very, like you see how I'm like always, do you appreciate, like do you like that? What is your view on physical touch? I love it. I'm very, I have always been like someone that is a way that I show my love and like just having like my hand on you. It's like something that I don't like. Versus feeling dominant types like Kenneth are more of the view that feelings and desire should be organic. And if sexual chemistry is a hurdle from the very start when you're meant to be most excited, then it's not happening. What I'm hearing from you in this moment is the caliber of a man that you are is what I need, but I don't feel X, Y, and Z for you. That's the thing. And that's not enough for us to get married. That's not enough for us to be like, well, we'll work it out. Oh, that's not enough. And we have to be okay and honest about that. Okay, so I must admit that I was super confused by their breakup scene when I first watched it. But after re-watching it, having some time to think about it, I am pretty certain that Kenneth had checked out of the relationship by that point, way before that point. And I think so because of these points. Firstly, sensing heroes tend to be quite physical with their partners when they're in love and he wasn't. Secondly, he went from being super attentive and gentlemanly like all the girls were so envious of Brittany. Thank you, baby. Oh my He's God. So Are you kidding me? To withdrawn, lazy, and entitled. Thirdly, he displayed zero upset feelings when they broke up. And this is even factoring that he's normally quite reserved and not expressive. Give me a hug so you know it's no beef. <laughs> right? okay. Like, bro was unfazed. I think unfortunately for Kenneth, he ends up looking like the biggest villain because of this. 
Effie extroverted feeling is a function that tends to put other people's feelings first and they respond to other people's feelings. And especially if this is in the second position, the parent, it would feel like an obligation, a rule to do so and never leading with your own feelings. So when Effie parent loses feelings for you in a relationship, they tend not to be forthcoming about that. They are hugely uncomfortable rejecting you based on their own feelings and would rather piggyback off of your feelings and say, we should go separate ways for your sake. Every parent feels very obligated to focus on other people's feelings first. So you would never really know how they feel because they tend not to express it. And even if they do express a value or an emotion, it's always via someone else. I feel uncomfortable because they feel uncomfortable. And this is exactly what Kenneth does here in the breakup. He's saying we should break up for Brittany's sake because Brittany does not feel attraction towards me anymore. But like, if you don't have a crave for me or us, that's true and that's you. Now the craving thing, that is a feeling that you should have, that if you don't have that, that's a, a valid concern. He even ropes in God like it's God's will. Basically, it's like it's nothing to do with him and that he's not feeling it either. But in this situation, like, I am confident that what is before me, God has already prepared me for. And even though I have so much love for you and I care about you so much, if it's not there for you and I, he's gonna prepare me for that, prepare you for that and us for that. Yeah. And unfortunately, my observation is that FE in general, whatever the position, they're a bit terrible at breaking up with people. They would rather make it easier for you to dump them. They'd rather withdraw, be difficult, even unfaithful, so that you dump them. And honestly, I don't understand how that's less hurtful than just being upfront and saying they're not that into you anymore. But rejecting someone upfront is excruciating for people with FE. On top of that, what adds to Brittany looking very much like a victim here is that I think she really looks up to Kenneth a lot and puts him on a pedestal and never questions him. And I think that's why I hate this so much mm -hmm. because like you've been such a good person to me. Mm -hmm. Ken, I think the world of you. Kenneth is a school principal. He's a Christian worship leader, basically a very respectable person in Brittany's world. And her dominant functions are SI, introvert sensing, which is very aware of social norms and social appropriateness. She also has TE, extroverted thinking, which is aware of hierarchy and achievements. So together, Brittany will feel that respect is due to those she deems above her social rank. It may explain why she doesn't ever question Kenneth or counter his arguments when he turns the tables and blames their problems on her alone, even though she seems otherwise very confident and decisive. Thank you for watching till the end of this video. I hope it was helpful and interesting. If so, please like, subscribe, and share my content to support me. I've developed my own methods of interpreting personality types. If you would like us to analyze your personality type and make sense of your relationships, communication, and decision-making, then please find booking details in the description box below.